La Chua Trail is located just south of Gainesville, Florida in the Paynes Prairie Preserve State Park. There is a beautiful tree-lined road at the Southeast 15th Street entrance that leads to the parking area and trailhead. First, I stop at the Iron Ranger and pay the $4 entrance fee and collect my mirror hanger before parking and beginning my hike. A covered information kiosk tells me what I should expect to see on my visit today and marks the beginning of the trail. Along the way, there are several signs reminding visitors that this is not a theme park and the wildlife that are residents here are free to roam wherever they please. In earlier times, Payne's Prairie was used for cattle grazing and this railroad trestle was built here in the late 1800s to allow cattle to pass underneath so as not to require the trains to stop. Here I arrive at the transition from sidewalk to raised boardwalk following along the rim of the Alachua Sink which drains Paints Prairie. All the way out to the observation tower and back is just about three miles over level ground, so I would rate this as an easy hike. For most of the trail, however, there is no shade, so don't forget the sunscreen. The water level fluctuates with the seasons, and on my visit today we are entering the dry season, so water levels are already beginning to drop. Here is also where we begin to see the trail's most populated resident, the American alligator. Whether sleeping in the mud flats, swimming along in the water, or lazing about along the sunny shoreline, you'll see dozens and dozens of alligators and dozens more that you'll never see hiding in the weeds. The prairie is also home to a variety of birds like this glossy ibis. These northern shoveler ducks and the elusive Wilson's snipe. The trail narrows and yet another sign warns visitors to be prepared to share the trail with any wildlife. At the end of the trail, there is a raised observation tower which provides an excellent vantage point to view the expansive prairie and its residents. In the distance I see some of the elusive bison and using the maximum range of my telephoto lens I can get a little better look. In 1975, bison from Oklahoma were reintroduced here and they have thrived ever since. Well it's time to turn around and retrace my steps back down the trail. See you later, alligator.